Hey everyone, welcome to Sartek Programming. Today we will be seeing the ninth question of this series, in which I am covering previous year TCS NQT and Ninja coding questions. So this is the ninth video. If you haven't checked first eight videos, do check them out. Now let's read the question. Naman recently found uh, Naman recently found out that the word which reads the same backwards as forwards, example madam, is called a palindrome word. He noticed that even its own name is palindrome. Now he is curious to find out other palindrome words. Write a program to determine if the word entered by the user is a palindrome or not. Uh, print palindrome. If it is a palindrome, print not a palindrome. Otherwise, assume that all the inputs will be in lowercase only. Okay, so a palindrome. is a word which is re read which reads same backwards as forwards like naman uh, if you start reading it n so like n a m a n and if you read it backwards n a m a n so it is same so such words are called palindrome words now our task is to find if the entered word is a palindrome or not so like let's see a sample input uh noon so n o o n uh, and n o o n it reads same forwards and backwards so it is a palindrome so we'll print palindrome uh, uh now the second example if it is like if the the word is ninja so n i n j a and a j n i n so it does not read same so it is not a palindrome okay uh, so you can try this solution on your own and then come back again to watch my solution now uh, in this question there can be multiple approaches one approach that, one approach that you might have thought of is uh, like reversing the word and then checking if the original word is equals to rever reversed word like uh, so this is the list of palindrome words there are a lot this some of them are here so like if we reverse this word wow w o w and if we reverse it it will be w o w so if it is if the original is equals to reverse then we will print palindrome if it is not then we will not we will print not a palindrome so like if we reverse this word ninja it will be uh, a j n i n and we we can clearly see that original word is not equals to reversed word so it would be not a palindrome so this can be one of the solutions um we can learn now so in this uh, particular video i will be covering two solutions uh, one uh, out of which one is the one that we just discussed right now okay so let's see that solution so what we have done is we have taken a uh, original word as an input and we have reversed that word and we have just checked that if original is equals to reverse if it is then we print palindrome and then if it is not then we are uh, we print not a palindrome so like let's enter any word first we will enter noon it is a palindrome now let's enter a word which is not a palindrome so it's nice not a palindrome so how it works is uh, let's say user entered nice okay so uh, so what this does is <coughs> uh creates a slice that starts at the end of the string and moves backwards so uh, when we write this what happens is we start from here e okay and then we uh go backwards uh by one one uh like we decrement the pointer by one so first we will come here then here then here and then here so the reverse word uh will can will so if this will be stored in reversed word and since this is not equals to this we checked it here uh nice is if nice is equals to equals to is in it is not true so we won't print so we will we won't go inside if we will go inside else and we will print not a palindrome okay you can see so this is the uh, one approach now the other approach can be we don't uh, really need to reverse the whole word uh we what we can do is something like this so this is the second code uh, i will explain you the code 
after I run it. Okay. Uh, so re let's write a word which is a palindrome. So naman. Uh, sorry, naman, which is a palindrome. Okay. Now let's write some a word which is not a palindrome. So let's write Naveen, Okay, which is not a palindrome. Okay. So what happens is. Okay, so this is the word that we have entered and we have marked if palindrome equals to true. So we have considered that <coughs> any word that is entered is palindrome and uh, that's the reason we have marked it true. Uh, here what we have done is we have kept two pointers, one at the starting of the string and one at the end of the string. So I will be here and J will be here. Okay, so, and then we will check if this letter is equals to this letter. Uh, if this letter is not equal to this letter and if it is not then we'll mark it as false and then we'll break out of the loop uh, otherwise we will just uh, we will just keep incrementing the i pointer and decrementing the z pointer and we will do it till i is less than equal to j so let's see how it works uh, okay so first we'll check if the this n that is the i character is equal to j that is is equals to n that is jth character it is since it is equal we won't do anything we will just increment the i by one so our i will come here now and our j will come here since j will be decremented by one and then we will check if this a is equals to i that is i's character is equals to jth character or not since it is this condition is true since this a and i are not equal, what we will do is we will mark this if palindrome as false. So now our word is not a palindrome. We have marked it here. And then we will break out of the loop because we don't need to keep looping. If any of these words are different, like since this is different, then if it's not palindrome, it's definitely not a palindrome. So we'll just break out of the loop. We will check if is palindrome so like if it it would have been true we would have print palindrome but in this case since is palindrome is marked false we will go inside else and we will print not a palindrome you can check the solution you can check both the solutions uh, through description section and it's completely okay which solution you use uh, what matters is the answer uh, so we are getting the answer using both the solutions uh, i just explained this code so that you know how uh, this is kind of the most optimal solution and that solution is more obvious like more intuitive this is not but this is a optimal solution you can go with any solution okay uh, thanks for watching